Ladies and gentlemen, hey, hi, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. The Modern Warfare 2 launch is, uh, you know, buggy and uh, issue filled as it's been, gives us a decent amount of content. We've got a ton of weapons to go through, uh, you know, grind out, rank up, unlock camos for. We got a bunch of different modes, a bunch of different maps to use between 6v6 and ground war as well. But we know for a fact season one is on the horizon. We have a lot of content coming with that. We've talked about a bit of what season one has to offer in previous videos between Warzone 2, DMZ, so on and so forth. But recently, we also got additional updates on some content and some other changes coming to Modern Warfare 2, either with season one or actually in some updates prior to season one, which is nice to see considering that's only a couple of weeks away dropping on at November 16th. Uh, real quick, a couple of recap things. Uh, as far as modes go, we know we have two big additions coming with the Season 1 patch itself. The first one is Gunfight. Of course, this is sort of a classic mode ever since MW 2019, where it was first introduced. 2v2 and 3v3 gameplay on some super, super small maps that are specifically built for that style of gameplay. It's not a 6v6 map and you're playing it 2v2 or 3v3. It is meant for, uh, you know, that specific super small style of gameplay where you go through, you find weapons and equipment off the ground, off the walls, and you fight that way. Uh, we had it in MW 2019. As mentioned, we had it in Cold War. We also saw the Champion Hill sort of variant in Vanguard as well, but we know for a fact Gunfight is coming back in Season 1, so that'll be added to the modes. Then also, the big mode update happening in Season 1 is the addition of Tier 1, aka Hardcore. Uh, initially, it seemed like this was going to be something that was available at launch. Uh, Infinity Ward had mentioned it in some pre-launch blog posts saying, you know, Hardcore is now Tier 1, super limited HUD, even lower health. It's going to be that classic mode that Hardcore fans love. And then launch happened and Hardcore was nowhere to be found. So everyone was wondering what is exactly going on there. Then Infinity Ward did clarify that Hardcore is in fact coming post-launch with the Season 1 update, so we can expect Tier 1 gameplay to happen with that patch. Obviously, a fantastic place to grind out camo challenges, to get some extra XP through like all the one-shot capabilities and whatnot, or if you're just a super hardcore player who doesn't like the slightly longer TTK, which is saying something because the core TTK is already ridiculous, uh, or if you just don't like having like the mini-map in the HUD and stuff, that of course is the place for you. So we've got both of those modes dropping in Season 1. Now, another update that we know is dropping here, uh, likely before season one, is actually an update to the Orion camo, the max camo. And of course, no one is realistically going to have this camo by the time that this update goes out, assuming it's in the next few days. Uh, but they're actually going to be changing the animation speed on the camo itself. Uh, Joel Emsley, who is an Infinity Ward employee, ended up tweeting pre-launch saying that uh, they increased the speed so it's a bit more noticeable, but he wasn't sure if that update had made it to launch yet. And then uh, the launch update happened that was not in there the mw2 ghost ended up tweeting saying that the animation was super slow and joel emsley followed up and said they did in fact increase the speed it just was not available uh for the day one patch so that update will be rolling out here soon potentially even by the time that this video goes out and uh that camo will be looking a little bit more flashy now again i don't see anybody having this like within the week or anything i'm sure some people will be close because uh you know camo challenges this year around a whole lot easier which is fantastic to see but uh yeah that camo is going to look a little bit more flashy and uh, animated after that update goes out by the way, as we are breaking down all of this every single day, I got you guys covered with the latest news, updates, class setups, tips, and all other things going on in COD between MW2, Warzone 2, and DMZ. So if you're new to the channel or if you're part of that 52% of viewers who have not already subscribed and you want to stay up to date, you want to guarantee you always know everything going on, be sure to hit that sub button. Join us on the road to 900,000 subs. We'd love to hit that milestone before the end of the year. Also, if you guys enjoy this video, if you find it helpful, you like being in the know, be sure to drop a like on it as well. Would be seriously appreciated. Let's try and aim for 2,000 likes. Anyways, moving on, another update that is going to be coming with Season 1, actually, is an update to Vault Edition Owners. You're going to get uh, your extended rewards, if you will. Of course, there's been some issues with the Vault Rewards tracking so far, but for having that edition of the game, you get your Cinder, uh, you know, Vault Pack with all the M4 attachments. You get the 
uh red team one for one operator pack as well with price and ghost and all of them but you also end up getting a bonus drop with the season one update which is going to introduce the battle pass that's another new content update coming there that'll be live kicking off at season one and for owning the vault edition you're going to end up getting uh the 50 tier skips and the base battle pass unlocked as well for that which is super super convenient uh activision support did tweet out saying you know just a reminder your battle pass and your tier skips are going to be delivered in game when season one launches on november 16th obviously right now on the menu the battle pass tab is there but it's grayed out so i've seen a lot of players saying you know zach what's going on why can't i view the battle pass there just isn't one right now the first battle pass officially goes live with season one now those are all the official new content updates that have been confirmed by infinity ward or by call of duty themselves the next few things we've got coming up are still content updates in a way if you will but they're more so you know back end updates that'll introduce some new features to the game and these were actually data mined or leaked i think the mw2 ghost over on twitter was talking about these as well uh barracks with combat record stats and all sorts of stuff like that should be coming to the game here in the future i would hope that that wouldn't take all the way to season one to be added to the game considering basic stats is a very basic feature in call of duty i'm not gonna lie kind of disappointed that, that stuff's not included on day one confused as to what goes into that but regardless an official barracks tab should be coming then alongside that mastery challenges right now uh there's really just daily challenges to complete in game infinity ward had a big breakdown about how challenges were going to be a big thing this year there was going to be career milestone challenges your daily challenges and ultimately mastery challenges as well and we don't just have really any of that at launch just the basic dailies that refresh every 24 hours but apparently according to the files there's a lot of mastery challenges coming for weapons which you can actually already preview in the game by going to the camo section but also we're doing a bunch of other very specific challenges for career milestones and all sorts of stuff like that so that stuff is coming i know again i've seen a lot of questions about that going you know where are all the advanced challenges for you know winning 25 games of tdm or defusing five bombs in snd and progressing and getting new calling cards and new emblems throughout all of those those are in fact on the way again not really sure what happened to those being there at launch they just were mia but we know for a fact those on their uh those are on their way at some point here in the near future besides that though as we've already talked about on the channel in the past in a few separate videos uh season one is going to be that main content update obviously with all the new seasonal content new operators new weapons new maps some of the features mentioned here in this video uh warzone 2.0 dmz all that stuff dropping on november 16th and in the coming days and weeks we should actually end up getting a big reveal for that for dmz gameplay probably a season one roadmap and when the time comes we're going to be covering all that right here on the channel you guarantee it so if you want to stay up to date with that alongside everything else going on in cod be sure to hit that subscribe button turn on those post notifications that way you'll always know whenever i post a new video and if you enjoyed this one, let me know by dropping a like on it. it would be seriously appreciated. As always, if you want to check out any of my partners, be sure to use code IMMORTAL on all SCUF, G Fuel, Gamer Advantage, and Control Freak products. And the links for all those can be found down in the description below. But once again, thank you so much for tuning in. And until next time, take it easy. Have an awesome rest of your day. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.